As an enterprise, innovating with customer data is tough. Over the past few years, we worked with some of the largest and most reputable brands in banking, insurance, healthcare, telco, and other industries. And no matter what they were interested in, being it AI training, getting access to realistic training data, or external data sharing to collaborate with startups or vendors, they all faced the same challenges when it comes to utilizing the data. One of these challenges is that getting access to this data is super, super difficult and takes lots and lots of time. So we hear from our clients that in the past, before they used synthetic data, it took them anything between three to eight months until they could get access to the relevant data sets for their projects. But it's not only that. It's not the time and all the negotiations and all the bureaucracy your employees have to go through. In the end, if you get your data set, the utility is not what you expect. The reason for that is that traditional anonymization techniques destroy the vast majority of the utility in your data set. If you want to learn more about this, we have a nice video that compares traditional anonymization techniques with synthetization. So it takes a lot of time. It doesn't give you the utility you want. And on top of that, research has demonstrated over and over again that these traditionally anonymized data sets are easy to identify and put you at risk for privacy breaches and hefty privacy fines. Synthetic data, on the other hand, can help you to immediately get access to relevant data sets, to get access to granular data sets that are as good as real, but completely privacy friendly and compliant with GDPR CCPA and all the privacy regulations out there. So if you're wondering what synthetic data is, AI generated synthetic data is pure value without liability. You can imagine it like this. Instead of destroying certain parts of an existing data set, like all these traditional anonymization techniques like masking and obfuscating do, you use a powerful AI algorithm that automatically learns all of the structures, the correlations, the time dependencies, basically how your customers behave. And then, once this training is completed, a completely new separate synthetic data set is generated that has the same correlations, the same patterns, the same time dependencies, but doesn't include any privacy information, privacy sensitive information of your real customers. So this gives you access to a data set that is statistically highly representative, super realistic, and yet 100% privacy safe. So what can you do with synthetic data? One top use case we see with our clients is getting rid of the testing headaches. Organizations would love to use their production data for testing because it's the most realistic data sets they can get. But of course, that's not privacy friendly, that's not GDPR compliant, and therefore they have to find alternative solutions. Synthetic data allows them to get as good as real data that is free to share also in lower environments without having to fear about a privacy breach. But it's not only testing. One of the biggest strengths of synthetic data, AI-generated synthetic data, is the superior accuracy. You can basically retain 99% of the information that you have in your original customer data sets. So it's the only anonymization technique out there that really produces data that's useful for AI training and sophisticated advanced analytics. So model training, being it internally or also externally, if you want to collaborate with AI vendors or startup, is one of the most promising use cases for our clients. And as already mentioned, external data sharing. We all know legislation is changing and it's much more difficult to share data with external vendors, with startups or even subsidiaries that are located in other countries. Synthetic data is exempt from privacy regulations. So you're free to share it and benefit from all the insights without the liability and without the privacy risks that are attached to production data. If you want to learn more about use cases, we've recorded a few other videos. You can find them in the description and see what else our clients are using synthetic data for.